Hello, lowly third dimensional beings. It is I, Fluval, Grand Trivia Master, the Aquarium Empire. And uh, intern Charlene is also here. Hi, yeah, it's me, intern Castilla. Oh my god. Uh, I'm intern Castilla, and I'm so excited, Fluval, to be here today for the simulation dome. Oh yes. my god, you've been working so hard on it. Oh my I god. Have. And the simulation dome is, is, is reaching your lowly third dimension for the first time, so I hope you are properly reverent and in awe of our greatness for this. This very Flognar, we will be showing off a universe that we crafted entirely to figure out how better to inflict suffering on you lowly beings. That was one of my projects for this semester. We also have, we have a guest expert, a guest historian on this. Oh my episode. god, yes. yeah. Well, you I know. I booked them, but yeah, no, guest okay. Oh my god. Charlene, Sorry. describe the guest. We have an incredible guest. We have an incredible guest. So today we're going to be looking at a medieval style pocket universe that I created from an egg. I sat on it and everything. Oh my God. It was so much fun. Oh, but the guest. The guest. The guest Bring up the guest. Because we're, it's, uh, um, I would love to welcome to the show the department head. The deputy head of the chronocartography department at Miskatonic University, Professor Doctor MFA, PhD. Yes. Hello. 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 More importantly, hello. Oh. oh. A third dimensional being after where my own heart would be. Well, of course you you have to respect. You have to respect the chain of command in any sort of establishment, or professional, or, or academic. Oh, yes, it's very, it's very, very my, my stunned silence is just that there's a third dimensional being who has the proper understanding of how a workplace should be structured. So few do. So I welcome you to our program. Well, thank you very much. Yes. Without structure, of course, I would be out of a job. I've been... <laughs> I've been... <laughs> 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 uh, time is an illusion. Dr. Emma Fay. But also a tool. Very important for me. Yes. Dr. Emma Fay, could you let us know a little bit about the chronocartography department at Miskatonic University? Yes, of course. As I would introduce, I am a doctor, professor, MFA, PhD. Um, I am the deputy head of the chronocartography department. I, I would be the head of the department myself, but uh, 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 unfortunately, uh, I uh, there was an Aquarian who applied for the job before me, and so I, I mean, I respected the chain of command. I appreciate oh that. I was gonna say yeah. you should just kill the head of the department until I learned it was an aquarium, and then oh yeah, you'd have no chance. So oh just, my god, no! Uh, resign to your lot in life. Isn't it great to resign, though? Yes, it's, it's, it's a wonder. It's, 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 a, it's a good, it's a good job. I, I wouldn't give it up for the world. Uh, it's wonderful. Uh, but yes, I'm part of the Cronin Cartography Department. Our job, of course, is to uh, help the, the prospective students understand how uh, how to manipulate the timeline, uh, how to uh, navigate the timeline, uh, both forwards and backwards. Mm. There's, there's a great many different things uh, that your your choices in the future can affect you, but your choices in the past can affect. It's very very important you understand where you stand to create an optimal outcome. And of course, for this simulation, that outcome is suffering. Absolutely. I'm so glad that you understand that. Um, so few third dimensional beings do. I think we're going to get along today, which is something I don't usually get to say about you know, any intern, <sighs> any intern, excuse me, any third dimensional beings except for intern Brittany. Oh my God. I so I did a really good job just booking it. Also, I'm intern Christy. Yeah. Thank you, intern Ashley. I did such a good job, didn't I? You did a great job, intern Donna. Intern Christy. My name is intern Christy. Intern Penelope, I, I, I thought, I, I think I've complimented you enough. Well, well, Fluval, I, I do agree. And as they say, listen, it, it's, it's very important to, to get to the point that time, mm. time is something that we cannot waste. We must, in fact, uh, kill uh, time. Uh, I'm glad you understand that a lot better than intern Calliope over here. 
It's Christy. Very good, very good, very good. I, I, I want to send you the only Tim reason why is so that everything happens all, 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 all at once. Now, I thought that that was something that originally was said by the famous uh, uh, theorist, the physical, the, the, the theoretical physicist, Dr. Albert Einstein, but in fact, in fact, did you yes. know that it was a ray coming? A uh, quote for the 1919 uh, book, uh, The Girl in the Golden Atom. It's very, Christy. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I didn't know My that. My name is Intern Christy. But speaking of time and how everything in time has its place, I think it's time for us. Oh my god! To enter the simulation dome. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Oh my gosh, Flibble, I'm so excited! Oh my god, oh my god. Here it is. We are now zero years in power. Oh my god. That's like not true for any time period for you, Flubble, because you were always in power. Yes, no, I'm using we to refer to the, 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 the third dimensional being who's, whose mind we will be acting and seeing through in this simulation. Obviously, I am outside of time and space at most times. Our goal right now, govern at least five years. I think we can do it. Oh Are goodness. we the young king? Uh, well, we're probably the king, right? Dr. Professor MFA. Yes, I, I think that starting an I think we are. power is always the right option when you're going with any sort of uh, uh, time travel scenario. Uh, you want I to agree. control the situation as possible. Oh. Not for all eternity. Oh my god, yeah! A chat. Weigh in with any option you want us to choose, but I think I think it's clear that we need to send this spirit of the fallen to rot for eternity. I mean, it looks like they're already in the dungeon, so yeah, here we go. Uh, I'm uh, in charge. Great. Is there a question? Happy yes, Dr. FM, hi. I am, in fact, uh, smoking a variety uh, of many different things. Some got from the Cape of Alpha Centauri. Some got from uh, the local the local pub, uh, and some I scraped off of the back of my coworker. Uh, it's it's a very wonderful assortment, and uh, oh my god, from all, all sorts of times. Uh, yeah, I... Wow, that looks tasty. Um, let's see. Should, let's, oh, okay. oh, yeah, we'll try to balance those So powers. we're talking to the spirit of the fallen. The spirit of the fallen wants us to keep the four powers oh. balanced. And I'm also seeing be. something right now. I'm seeing, I'm going to cut back. We have to briefly exit the dome because I'm seeing that Kiesel improperly routed the audio. <gasps> oh. Kiesel, oh my God. Uh, Flumo's been working so hard at this and you messed up again. Gun. Flu will mess it up again. I was. I just. I want the people to be able to properly hear. Kissle, Kissle messed up. Hear Kissle this great. Up. I saw... This great experience. I mean, the simulation dome is a full immersive experience. It doesn't do. I hatched it from an egg. You did hatch it from an egg, and you hatched it very well. I sat on it for months. I want you to know, intern Charlene. Look, intern Charlene, this is in no way an indictment of your work. Oh my god, I appreciate that, Flipple. Oh my god. This is an indictment of Kiesel, yeah. as most things are, if we're being honest. I mean, if there's ever a mistake made in the Grand Aquarium Empire, you can trace it back to station manager Kiesel. He's I just... I, I actually, this is very funny, I actually did a study on the uh, timeline effects of Kiesel. And every single timeline that contained at least one singular variable, and that variable being Kiesel, messed everything up entirely. I mean, I'm glad to hear that word of his incompetence has reached third dimensional beings because he's so famously incompetent that it's just, it must be known. And anyway, now let's return back to the dome. It'll be there in a sec. It's just powering up. There it goes. Okay, so here we go. As we have, as we learned earlier, we must keep a balance of the four powers on my head. 
uh, to keep the head on your shoulders, but no one could ever take your head, Kiesel. I no. would offer, m I mean, Flaval. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so far. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, I'm going to be honest. It just did not even occur to me that you would have briefly confused us. I mean, I never get your name wrong, Charlene. Oh my God. Welcome, Professor. I would PhD, never do that. So I, I just, I ask you to, you show me the same respect. I'm going to take that down Christy. so you can see. Ah. Okay. Okay. Also, anything you chat along will pop up on screen so we can hear, see what you're weighing in with yeah. in making these all important decisions today. So, a group of villagers pretend that they're assaulted by celestial beings. It's a, probably a trick to pay less tax. Oh my god. Villagers are just like interns, and they are making up these things all the time. Dr. MFI, what do you think? Do you believe that? I don't believe that if you give in to every single wild thing that your, your peasants say, then you will end up with, with just anarchy. And, and nobody, nobody likes anarchy. You need to control the timeline. Yes, yes. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Very good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's like totally wait. Yes. Yes, or we believe them. Oh, I believe that. Do we think it's a trick, or yes. do we believe that they're being attacked by? Oh my god, beings? it's definitely a trick. I do this all the time. Okay. Emma. A convent of nuns is starting meowing like cats. I like that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is a good point, Tiger Bates. Oh yeah. What if Aquarium were attacking those lowly third dimensional beings? We do love to do that. But all probably their fault. I love telling mm. people that it didn't happen, though. It really freaks them out because they're like, oh, my God, are my memories true? Am I going crazy? It's so much fun. Okay, but these now these nuns, these yes. meowing nuns. What do we what can we do about it? We can. Why should we care or general, which I suppose means we're going to go kill the nuns. Well, I think that that which would I make a really nice reality show, wouldn't it? We follow these nuns. You're right. I won't stop it. Why would I care? is my front to keep that show on the air. But what do you like, think? In general, you could round them up. And, yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, no, and in fact, you could probably take them out of the timeline entirely, thus uh, removing the threat to the village and removing, mm. uh, uh, um, increasing your opportunity because you can put those wonderful nuns in any timeline. You're right, general, it is. We should gaslight that. We send the army to stop the, ne stop the nun meowing. The church is embarrassed, but approves. Improves. Uh, don't approve of me, you lowly. I'm not going to take a loan from a oh my lowly third dimensional being. Get out of here. If we need money, we'll steal it. I don't. Do we want to play this game with, with Junius Loose Tongue? Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't see any reason to lower ourselves to those sorts of games. I agree. Get out of here. We did it. We, oh my god, good job, Flavol. I am now bowed the young. The folks of a remote village are teaching their children to sabet on the king's man? Should we make an example? Oh my god, we absolutely should. Absolutely, absolutely. As much as I approve of spitting on lowly third dimensional beings, that is something only higher dimensional beings should do, not your fellow the lowly dimensional beings. No, your pain and suffering belongs to us. I don't think we should make a, privilege, a pilgrimage to this saint. Like, why would we respect this saint? It's a lowly third dimensional being. I'm not going to go out of my way to see where a dead one is. What? What if it has powers, though? What do you think? I don't see how a saint's tomb could have any power that's not so far below me as to, to, to be worth going out of my way. Sometimes I hide fifth dimensional technology in tombs just so that when people open it, they're like, oh my god, are there ghosts? I don't What's need going that. on? I don't need that technology. Funny story. Uh, Intern Christy, I think I actually ran into one of those traps. I was on this amazing, uh, 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 this amazing exploration, and uh, we went at this dig, and... We thought that maybe, uh, cause I'd, I'd gone, I'd gone far too forward in time on accident. I thought I might've left my watch in the tomb back when it was being built. And, uh, we got there and, uh, no watch, but lo and behold, uh, a, a transmitting device that allowed me to contact the Aquarians and get unstuck. Oh my god, that was, that definitely, was one of yours. definitely one of mine. Oh my goodness. No wonder. I was expecting them all to just like explode. <laughs> uh, but we didn't get one back. So that must have been yours. Oh, there this are too many people to execute. Clear, 
Obviously, the more people we can execute, the better. Yes! Oh my goodness! Yeah, it's been annoying. A great fire is destroying my castle. Uh, save, save the treasury or save the garrison. The treasury. What do I well, care about? Third yeah, exactly. Beings? We can, they're replaceable. Yeah, money is not. Uh oh. Invading armies are at our door. The army is too weak to do anything. What do you mean it's too weak? What? Bad that doesn't make any sense. Did what third dimensional beings love to do, which is die. Wait, I don't understand, Professor. Professor, I'm away. Dr. Professor, oh. what did we do wrong? Well, you see, the problem here lies in not understanding the power of subjugation. Now, mm. I, have had, I have a wonderful student who's actually doing a minor in subjugation right now. Wonderful student, wonderful student. Being uh, actually uh, appears on one of these other shows is, has an amazing gift with its stuff. Uh, and you have to realize the importance of building your army. They have done such a wonderful job. They've actually managed to conquer entire planets. Mm. And the most important part is that they turned every single person that they killed into someone who worked for them. See, that's the trick there. You have someone who's both, uh, you get to do the killing, but then you also have a workforce. You need to make sure that no matter what, you have that workforce that can be right. subjugated slaves. I see what you mean. I, I may have, and this is something I didn't expect to ever say. I, oh boy, I don't know if I can get this out. I may have leaned too hard on killing third dimensional beings. I didn't know that was possible. Maybe the simulation has a bug, but wow, it's it never led me astray before. It must be really hard to operate in a universe where you can't just go into other universes and take their third dimensional beings. Yeah. I never thought about it that way. I like wow. This seems like a learning, a big lesson. Wow. I think there's something to be gained here. See, uh, this simulation is for creating a wonderful show. And see, I think the thing that we have to remember here is that we have to always be creating new people for the show. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, we're going to run out of people because, like third dimensional creatures do, <laughs> they'll die. You're right. I think wow. of third dimensional beings as a renewable resource, but I didn't think about the need to actively, you know, Cray at Keep no it going. Ones. I didn't think of that how I could over exhaust it. My goodness, without the vast cloning facilities of the Grand Aquarium Empire. Wow. Creating a kingdom must have been really hard. Well, bow when the try young again. is no longer with us. Let's try again. The king is dead. Oh, Long what live is this the king! Mean? Long live the uh, So these are our deeds. Our most successful leader okay. so far. Memento Mori is my favorite one. Uh, it's Remember oh, Dash. It's there are twenty nine unique deaths in the simulation, and so it tracks which deaths <gasps> oh, look. we've encountered so far. Oh, I love that! Oh my gosh! Wonderful, wonderful. And then we can see where we've gone right, where we've gone wrong. Eventually, we can go through those deaths and find the best one. This is perfect. This is this is why the simulation was a wonderful design. Congratulations, Christy. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Yeah, this seems this seems like a great use. Thank and also it's good you're here because this seems right up your discipline. Now we are James, the second king, who has what to a win a duel, name. recruit a doctor, and meet the devil. <gasps> the oh. devil! I love the devil! The devil's a longtime friend of mine. Oh I my didn't gosh. know that he, would, he made a cameo in this game. We had tea last Thursday. Am I the young king? Yep, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Go away. What? You I don't see understand. it's our curse. Oh. We will remember every king in this dynasty, every compromise, every death but, for edges. The, oh, and the devil will allow us to blissfully forget the curse. Interestingly, devil is now capitalized, was not capitalized on the previous screen. Oh. Does he exist? Oh, he exists. Like oh I said, God, he's my he friend. Exists. He's my good friend. We uh, had tea oh, rude. I'll find him. Go away, spirit. Okay. All right, my lord, a good doctor just saved the life of my nephew. He's a bit of a magician, and he's here now. I think we want the magician. Well, well yeah, let him out. I mean, <gasps> I am wise. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad that this appreciates. Ooh, dirty science. I love dirty science. It's like dirty bombs. I'm a doctor. Alchemist poisoner. I can handle life for you or death occasionally. Death. Good job. I want oh death. Guys, glad to have you. Focus no, do no, not focus don't on the focus life part. On the glad life to part. have you. What are you talking about? Glad to have you. Our beautiful capital smells like garbage. Oh no, yeah. I don't think we should build a sewer system. Let them suffer. Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the kingdom of the south claims that your betrothed gross. to their young princess declining may trigger a war. I mean. 
I mean, well, what, what? on the one hand, you uh, have a wonderful way to gain more power, but then on the other hand, you have the opportunity of getting just not rewards. It's, it's a win-win situation. That is true. I don't see you can. I, I fail to see a problem in it. Just, You're right. Uh, I'll gain the power. I'll gain the power. You have a gift for me in one of your hands. Let which which hands in the chat weigh in? Oh. Do we think it's the left hand or the right hand? I mean, I always like the left and the left hand path because I, yeah. the devil likes the left. I lay left, left for the same path. reasons. Okay, happy, happy rogue ten says left. Says left. I think that's what we have to go with then. Yeah. A dead bird, my favorite. Thank you. Oh my goodness, what a nice gesture. What a sweetheart. I don't know why the military and the banks were hurt by that either. It seems like they should just be happy for me that I got such a thoughtful gift. Wow, what a nice gesture. A group of people have become enraged and are now hunting witches. Are we allowed to kill if necessary? Kill the witches or kill Look, the people hunting the witches? Enter Minerva, you may not have calibrated this correctly if, if General Blomington thinks... That he has to ask me if he can kill. Obviously, he can kill. He's a general. That's the whole point of being a general is you get to kill things. Oh, my God. That's why we call them general because they can generally kill anything. Yeah, General Mayhem. Very gosh. famous general. Very gosh. Oh, my God. I agree. Uh, yeah. No, you're allowed to kill. Uh, Apparently, this derangement no. was caused by rye grain yes. poisoning. Should we burn our stocks? No, this seems like a wonderful opportunity. Capitalize on it. I agree. Nope. The poisoning spread and became difficult to control. Well, yeah, of course. Apparently, the derangement... Oh, yeah. No, sorry. I mean, I just... I'm relieved to see that we're doing such a good job pretending to be a third-dimensional government. There was a clearly preventable mass disease... And we just let it happen because of our indifference and greed. I think we did such a good job simulating oh angular government. Oh my god, you did so good, Flavol. You know oh, he, him I'm better. Kidding. They killed my general. You know what? He deserved it because he thought he had to ask me if he could kill. And obviously the answer is yes. So Why is Matt telling us this? Who the fuck is Matt? I don't know who Matt is. He's not an intern, is he? I'm not we my don't need another intern on this show, Matt. You know, not my intern. <sighs> What is it? What are uh, so our options? So we can close the gates from the people or send the army to kill the people. Oh. I mean. I think you close the gates. Yeah. Why waste resources? I think we close the gates. I think I have to show that I've learned from my past life and from James's past life. Standable. No, it would not be a lion. It would obviously be a fish. That's how I appear to third dimension. Oh my god, right? No. Gross. No, that sounded like Jar Jar Binks. Uh, nope, not a good no. as I guess he got bored of me shutting down his terrible ideas. Lady Swell Wedge, this is your 20th birthday, my lord. We should celebrate. So apparently I became king when I was 13 years old. What is, uh, what, what are our options? No. no. Or. Yeah. Yes. Should we celebrate? We should always celebrate. We always celebrate the little things in life. Oh my goodness, a puppy. You sit or do we agree with his cogent? expert statement i think i agree i mean woof 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 is an iconic quote that has echoed th amongst the stars oh my so, god do we all agree perfect perfect okay i don't know why they didn't like me agreeing with that wise dog i don't like justice adamar he's a lazy fraud he's not or he is well look matt has been pretty straight with us before even That's true. though he's not an intern no, you're right. Matt has been a, res a straight shooter respected by both sides so what do you think professor mfi a good man a good man indeed <laughs> you think matt's a good man or the justice is a good man uh, 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 Matt, Matt, the okay then, I then i'll agree with him i'll agree with matt the military didn't like Ooh, attorney attorney i mean i over only over my dead body. That is a, that is a that is a key part in many tourneys. The king's dead body. Yeah. But I don't think that's how it's meant here. So I think we should say yes. Shows oh of gosh. strength and violence are always valuable. Exactly. Plus, attorney could very easily turn into uh, say some sort of large scale violence uh, that actually kills people. Great point. Let's say yes. Oh. Lago. Nothing has happened. The army is bored to death. Provide them with wine or go exercise. I mean, I think to your point earlier, we have to make sure the army's in fighting shape. Yeah. So I think they go exercise. Oh, oh, the workers are always working. Exactly. Yes. You should never have a break. Constant vigilance. Why should their labor depend on, you know, 
constant. they're being work to do. They just have to constantly be working. Constant never ceasing fashion. I mean, I'm out here const- hosting shows all outside of time and space. At literally every moment in time, I am hosting a show. Oh my goodness, who is this? Normally when I tell my students, I assign, I say, listen, you always have to be working. That's why I assign 350 page essays and, uh, uh, you know, projects that I know they'll have no other time to do anything else for. Because look at me, I mean, I'm the one who has to grade everything. I'm exactly. Doing the, I mean, to be fair, most of the time I just put a little check mark in the corner and write, you know, great job, or, you know, this needs some work, or like, you know, interesting analysis and stuff, and just throw it in the trash afterwards. But really, it's the spirit of the thing that matters. <laughs> but Tiger Beats is also right. Yeah, about Our spirits. flag is amazing. Our flag should be trying so it's not really. Who are you, William, William Farrington? Farrington? Get out Anything of here. Anything that Flovel creates is incredible. <laughs> I mean, I just assume it's the Grand Aquarium Empire symbol, so it it's obviously be. perfect. I this, patched this universe. It the, is very definitely. I mean, unless it's like that universe where they got my teachings backwards and became the Aquarian Christines. Mm, that's a crazy universe. <sighs> but in this one, General Blomington, who definitely died, so I don't know how he's asking me questions. Uh, the South is asking for help in their conflict with the West. Should we send our army or ne- as neutral observers? They pay. Oh my goodness, so we, but we'll send our men there yeah, and they I mean, will pay us. That's just a TV show. Yeah. What's that? What's that? Oh, we gotta kill them. Sir Jest? Yeah. Do we think that Sir Jest is, is tricking us? Well, with a name like Oh! That. Yes, it was his friend. Oh my goodness! It was a plot. Sir. It was all a disgusting little third dimensional plot. Sensibilities had picked it out in the first place. Thank you very much. I agree. Could we dismember Junus Lustang, please? This clown broke down a trebuchet. Sure. Yeah, pay the army. Okay. Our soldiers were overzealous. Now we're at war with both the South and the West. Incredible! I mean, this 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 option, I think, says it all. Nice. A grip. No. Why would I want a hug? But do you like a hug? Get out of here. Are our men strong and we're winning the war? Shall we force a peace treaty? No. No. I mean, we're winning. Why would we stop? Yeah. Yeah. Sir, your yarn smells like rhododendrons this morning. You should avoid riding for a while. Is that unusual? This is our doctor. Do they not always smell like that? I mean, as a as an aquarium, I don't urinate because I don't consume matter. Well, since I got the upgrades, it kind of smells more like motor oil now. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, I myself would never believe a man of religion when it came to a matter of uh, physiology. So I, I personally well, would never let someone like that dictate how I live my life. Okay, then no, I'm going to keep writing. Uh, we discovered an unknown body in the dungeon and the hands are missing? That's so awesome! Yeah. Why would you need to reinforce the garrison? I think, no, I, I think this is silly. I think, yeah. I think uh, 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 reinforcing the, I, I actually disagree. I agree. It's, it sounds like everything's working perfectly, so... Someone left us a gift! Yeah. And now we're old. Wow, we went from the young to the old. It seems like we've learned a lot. People are nervous and asking for more security after we've been gifted another body in the dungeon? Yeah, no. No, we don't need more. Justice Adamar is a serial killer. So what? They're the executioner. He wants to quit. Be- Wait, he's a serial killer who wants this to stop being sucks. an executioner? If I could. Why would Maybe. You stop being an executioner? You yeah, out of the question. <laughs> Cereals are very cheap these days, my lord. You should adjust the, si- the price of bread. Double it or raise it slightly. What do you think, doctor? Well, uh, we could we could refer back to several wonderful uh, examples, uh, and it really depends on what kind of outcome you want. Uh, your intended outcome is something like the uh, Winmar, uh, uh, am I, the, the, mm. the, 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 the time of run. Mass inflation and having uh, wonderful suffering among all of your, uh, on all of your people. Then, then by all means, double it. Uh, if if you want to have a more stable source of power, then then perhaps raise.
freezing and slippery. Really, there are advantages to both choices. I think we do the death of a thousand cuts. Yeah, that way we keep people around to be filmed. I could be the executioner. I don't know why that's. Let's 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 investigate further. I'm looking for a simple way to test exotic new poisons. Oh my god! Absolutely. Uh, Well, of course he's. Why would? I don't care. A terrible plague followed the doctor's experiments on convex. You're the first to rot. See, this is why. Letting your rulers have lowly third-dimensional bodies is just a foolish idea. Well, I mean, yeah, fundamentally, but I it makes for a rock. great show. Like, look, some aquarium have ick. That's true. But we don't rot in this way. See, I, I That's my question. A wonderful essay on this, on finding ways to get around this, because this is something that many, uh, many uh, uh, larger uh, fifth-dimensional beings, or even you know, so on and so forth, have uh, run into as a problem. Mm. And they have found that in installing some sort of uh, mandate or divine right, where a, a channel mm. support by which they can communicate, and uh, see, we're sort of doing it in this simulation where uh, a, a higher dimensional creature is communicating with a lower dimensional creature uh, in order to uh, tell that creature what to do. Therefore, you can assign one higher dimensional creature for this simulation and then just swap out the lower third dimensional creatures to use as uh say interns that's a great idea i like the way you're thinking oh my god i love it but let's move on from james the young the james the old who rotted oh new high score uh, who are we now george king george uh, Ooh, a witch i love witches the kingdom of the south claims you're betrothed to their young princess. So I guess they ended the war in Declining between. Declining may trigger war. I guess they ended the war in between this period because I never ended the war with the south. And now the south has another princess they want to marry yeah, off how to many, you? How many princesses do they have? No, get out of here. Good news. Oh my gosh, My yay. people are starving. No. Yeah, I can't help. I don't help. No, that's not my job. Your people oh. are famished and unrest is spreading. What? Oh. Oh. Well, George didn't Wait, last Wait, I long. don't understand. Wait, I'm confused. Dr. MFA, I'm really confused because those people don't even have swords and they're not part of the army. How can they attack my great leader? Well, no, Christine, it's, it's totally fine. Christine, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, let, me, let me allow me to explain. So... The problem that you have when subjugating is that you have to balance out your subjugation with the best torture of all, which is hope. Mm. Uh, hope is the, of the worst torture that can exist to a third-dimensional creature. You give, uh, uh, so you give a third-dimensional creature who is rotting in absolute agony. Um, no hope and they'll say well fuck this then go and try and find something better for themselves uh, but if you give them even the slightest amount of hope that things could get better if they stayed where they were they will latch on to that like like sucker fish and just hold on and drain it of all that it has for decades yeah decades. so it's, it's very very important to make sure that you balance out subjugation you're absolutely right i mean you know what they, what they wow. say rebellions are built on hope and rebellions can be a great engine of suffering so wow, you're so wise let's oh move God. on to our next king uh, rebellion is best when you make sure that uh there are people 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 don't actually understand what they're talking about leading it and so you have a bunch of people who have these conflicting opinions um and then uh, the people who don't actually understand it uh, rise up because their voices are louder, and uh, then chaos ensues and lots of violence. I love that. I mean, chaos and violence are our bread and butter. So, it's Matt again. Matt's back. This mysterious Matt, who for some reason gets to talk to me. We, we found, found some, some gold, gold in the mines. Yes. Oh my God. Dig Obviously, deeper. always go for the gold. Uh, I mean, paying yes no. soldiers. Yeah, no. No. The Eastern Baronies are regrouping under the banner of a terrible warlord. Send the army. I'm always that happy sounds to like do that. a great team up. 
Cool. We could arrange your wedding with the princess of the north. But it would stop the that war. That would stop the war. I don't want to stop it. Wonderful because not only are you having uh, mm. more power by connecting again, like I said before, but uh, you'll notice that this would probably, if it's the princess of the north, piss off the countries of the south. Which we oh. Oh, uh, yeah. You're right. I hate those guys. Yeah. Yes. The river drop is flooding a large part of the country. We need help from the church and the army. What do you mean there's a problem with flooding? They shouldn't have any problem with flooding. That's where fish live. Yeah, like, I mean, get, grow up, become fish. I don't know what you want. Oh, yeah. I'd like I to meet a strange it. lady well-versed in the ancient Wait. arts of plants and dreams. Would you like to meet her? Is this Helena? It could be. In we have case, to. Why not? Why not? We should bring more uh, intelligent people. I we am, met a witch! I am Gerald the Sorcerer. <laughs> very good, very good. Matt is upset, I guess. I don't know what Matt is mad at me about. Is Matt mad, mad that I met the Sorcerer, or that I let a bunch of people drown so that they would grow up and get gills? Uh, what are our options? Uh, deal, deal with, with it, that? or it was not serious. I mean, it wasn't serious. It was not serious. Cool. Your cool. mines are not providing enough iron ore to make weapons. Oh, yeah, you can buy weapons. Buy them abroad, of course. That's fine. Oh, it's not I'm Helena. Lady Pusilia. Pus Pus I can help you with understanding the laws of Pus nature and the limits of humankind. There are so many limits of humankind. Yes, yeah, so I sort of knowledge especially about uh, about finding the limits of nature and humans is very very important. I agree that sounds very useful. The warlord of the East would like to meet you. He can crush our armies if he wants. You can't we crush me. Welcome him like a king. No, you can't crush me, warlord of the East. No, no we can't. get out of here. Welcome him oh. like a king. Well, the army's too weak to do anything. What do you mean? That escalated very quickly. Uh, I don't understand why they didn't just join us to 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 destroy more people. Yeah, I thought we could get along. I thought maybe we could. Uh... So I think the thing to learn here. Yes. Because there's always a lesson. Is something that is actually essential to the Aquarium Empire network, and mm -hmm. that is networking itself. Oh my mm -hmm. god, right? That's the key. That's our you're secret right. sauce. You're right, you're right, you're right. I keep thinking I'm me, but in the simulation dome, I'm just a lowly third dimensional human, and I have to remind myself of that. I have to work with others. I can't just be an all powerful being outside of time and space. Oh my god, that's so rude, though. Okay. You should not have to. Robert. The author of dimensional creatures, and it is a limit that we have to explain to them many times over. And it's just, you have to you have to make sure that uh, you only kill the people who you're sure are less powerful than you. I see, that's, yeah. That's usually a given, but I see, I see. You're right, you're right, you're right. It's hard when you're more powerful than everyone. There has been a massive breakout from the prison. We need to organize a search party. What are our options? Yes or no. Uh, how about we uh, get, get the comments... Uh, from the audience for this one. This yeah. Like, hey, oh, chat. Interesting question. I'm I'm interested to see. Perhaps there's some people who have uh, a, a student's look at this. Uh, yeah, chat. Third dimensional. Should things. we search for the people who broke out of the prison, or just let them go and suffer? Because presumably they don't have food or water. I mean, they could probably find some, presumably. Whereas in our dungeons, we can make sure they don't have any food and water. There was just apparently a massive uh, famine. <laughs> so. Let them uh, go. They will spread the suffering. They'll at the very least spread word of the suffering. Very cogent. Yeah. I mean, that, this you, is a primitive well, version of our but... network is letting them suffer and tell everyone else how they've suffered. Yes, and I'd make for good content, too. All of these Ooh. convicts messing with all the regular folk and all of the all of the shenanigans that occur when there's different sorts of uh, uh, resources and people get upset about not having certain resources. It's so much fun to watch. Oh, my God, yay. Okay. Your fortune is expanding. I see new cards, new paths in the field of your lives. I mean, I'm not going to turn down. Yes or no? A card reading. Right? Never do that. Oh, my God. The cards never lie. Oh. Junius Lowe's tongue is right. A powerful magical force will create new futures for you. 
Great. Yes, of course. Yeah, Dr. MFA, you always uh, want. Three secrets no, in this new there's universe. three secrets. Carry, Carry on. on. The fake luck can help you discover an unexpected ally in the dungeon. Sure. What's that mean? The ambitious lizard can bring pace for generations to come. I know a lot of ambitious lizards. Lizards are surprisingly ambitious. Yeah. They're real go-getters. The fatal party will not end well, but at least you will die creatively. I mean, I don't understand, but that is the most a third dimensional being can ask for. The Kingdom of the South claims that you're betrothed to the young princess. Why do the regents Again. Why do the regents who take power after I die keep declaring peace with the South? I don't want that. I don't want that. No. A good way to Oh sure. Is uh, to, to issue an edict. Therefore, uh, every single person uh, that comes after you will have to abide by this edict. I also think it's very interesting that we have uh, these sorts of, uh, say, prophecies that we've been handed because, in a way, this is a, a retro causality in mm. action that we are seeing here. Oh my God. Right now, uh, we are looking at events in the future that. Uh, are being uh, uh, that are affecting uh, events that are happening in the past. This is an example of backwards causation, where in a, 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 an effect happened before a cause in the timeline. It's uh, very interesting and uh, uh, can be very difficult to navigate if you don't if you're not trained in this sort of thing. I'm gonna say yes. Because it'll really cheese them off after we've been at war for so long for me to marry their young princess and become essentially heir to their throne. Like, that's going to really make these third dimensional beings upset. Oh, Your yes. Your fortress is too big. Yeah, build we a fortress. build a new tower. Make me a fortress. I would like to open a couple of shops for my wares and oh, charms. No. Capitalism! I think the problem lies in here. In uh, spreading. Mm. Mm. You, you want this witch's power for yourself. You're right. You the power to too many places. I think, I think that that would be disseminating power. I don't think that. No, you're right. You're right. Oh. The, the river, river drop is dry down. again. We should build a dam. A dam dam? I love damming things. Sure. I love damming things. We found gold in the oh. river bed. There we go. It's mine. Uh, I want that gold. Does everyone in the chat agree that we should? I should just keep this gold? Because... Why would I share it with lowly third dimension? You know, I don't care if you agree. I'm just going to keep it. Thank you. Robert the Greedy. Thank you. I am greedy. I appreciate that. My lord, what about a bit of fencing? I'm a good teacher. I bet a bit of money. Yeah. On guard. Let's fight. Okay. You will try or what is, when is that? You'll, when is that? I, I'm not sure. I'm going to back off because you see how across the top of the screen... If I attack, I move that way. If I do this one, I move backwards. Okay. And I don't. Are often famous last words in a combat. That's true, and I don't want to. I don't want to lead. I don't want to get pushed off this way, and I want to push him off the other way. Yeah. So I'll, 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 I'll scope it out. Did you try selling these impressive brushing scales of yours? I'm gonna go for it. Angry boar. I'll be like, Angry I'll embody thirty boar. to fifty feral pigs. Bravo. I'm going to attack you. You, you will, will try. try. When is that? You will try? Yes. With you, I will. And I will laugh, too. And I will laugh, too. <laughs> All is fair in love and war. Angry, Angry boar. With I you, it. I will. You will dance in hell. With you, I will. Did you try selling these impressive brushing skills of yours? Yes, yes I, made a fortune. I made a fortune. I'm going to attack you. Angry boar. When is that? Nah. Angry boar! Oh no. Oh no! Now I'm going to defend! Scary! You what? You what? I'm going to attack when you. What is that? Going to Angry boar! You. Your mother would be proud of your knitting skills. Not my, not my mother. Wow. Yeah. You don't have a mother. Just grand number exactly. Okay on the endless switch tank. Oh, from every more, yes. Oh, the can't add. wait, he can throw his sword at me. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I get to throw things? Okay, when is that? With you a sword. You look like a reckless worm. 
Mind the pointy bit. Wow. I don't like this person. I want them to die. You feel General Bloomington is plotting something. Hello. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's totally trying to kill you, Flavol. Oh my god, fight him. You're moving so slowly. This is never. I'm enjoying the end. moment. Did Look, you... I'm just here not looking at my phone, enjoying the moment. Uh, yeah, yeah, I made a fortune or angry boar. Angry boar! Angry boar! Ha <laughs> 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 Treacherous. Oh, I, that must be the throwing thing. You won, my lord. Beginner's luck. Sure, I'd like to know, know how, how to improve. improve? <laughs> Oh my gosh, good job! I, mean, I, th th I think this is clear. Attack is bright and explosive while defense is cunning and deceitful. Yeah. Carry on, though, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what the angry boar was because I was so defensive. Thank you. Get out of here, General. It's Medica. I don't want to spend money to prevent famine. I mean, are you right? Well, actually, you know what? As a, as a pretending to be a third dimensional being who wants to keep power. Oh my god. I think gosh. I will. I think I will. Wonderful. Oh, oh look. Ooh, this is amazing. This shows that classes actually work. And for just three low payments of $67 every three flognars, you can in fact engage in my online classes. I have this, it's a wonderful class. It's a great class. I have I have notes here for it. Um, it's amazing. Um, it, like I said, it just a few flognars are uh, very low payments. Uh, online classes uh, and, and you too can learn how to create the most optimal timeline. Oh, this dog's back. Uh, should we tell it to sit this time? Should we sit or all right, all right, all right? No, I believe follow, follow him. He seems, he seems like a very smart man. Yeah. And like he could be a colleague. Yeah. Here. I mean, you're right. We're following his lead. Let's just here take that. Oh, uh, took back my bring out a ball again? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Again? Yeah. Is this an endless loop? Will this dog ever tire? <laughs> I don't think this dog's gonna get tired. I think this is just gonna go forever. I think the dog is trying to tell us something that this is more than any ordinary dog. This might not in fact be a third dimensional creature at all. I think what we are saying here is that you're somehow talking a fifth dimensional creature into your simulation. Uh, oh. I think, that, I, think that, I think that they are trying to communicate something to you. Let um, me just try a few more times. And, uh, oh, shoot. I got a letter and I missed what it said. <laughs> <laughs> the last time the dog brought me a letter, I just got so excited playing. F uh. Okay, yes. Protect my, protect my barn. Do we want to play a game with Junius Loose Tongue? Sure, it's called Red Dwarf. Yeah. That's like a type of star that I've thrown people into. So, I hope I, I mean maybe my letter. This seems like more of a more of an enjoyable king. Why don't we uh, play into it a little more? Uh, no, I don't want to raise the stakes. Oh, get out of here! No. Well. But will we run out of money? Yeah, no, we we're, we don't need we don't have money for that right now. Later on, later on, for sure. Resources are an important thing. Oh no, Rex no is Rex. not doing well. Pat the dog or kick the dog. Well, if the dog normally, I would say if it was a third dimensional dog, kick the dog. But as we have seen, this is yeah. an ordinary dog. This is some sort of insane fifth dimensional creature who's been trying to communicate with us for the past god knows how long. I mean, also... We missed their missive, which was telling us that they were a fifth dimensional creature and how to get them out of the simulation, but we missed it because we were so excited playing ball with this creature. And what an auspicious year. So yeah, we'll pat the dog. Oh! Jeez. Time, Time is, is gone. gone. Space, Space is, is insane. insane. Here it comes. Here again. You feel your mouth closing down as if you never had one. Effective torture, by the way, making a third dimensional being forget Just erasing that they have a mouth. their mouths. Yeah. Little king, little puppet. You're right. This is a fifth dimensional being. 
Uh, okay. Well, that's not really a choice. No words. No words. Few thoughts. Junius! Junius! What are you doing here, loose tongue? Sir Jest! Ugh. Centuries ago, you asked for eternal power in exchange for your soul. That sounds like me. Well, I already am immortal, Archbishop of Cotterbury. Why would I mention to be given something I already am? I mean, certainly each of my deaths is enjoyable. Death is always enjoyable. Yeah. Okay. But what choice am I making? Okay. After Ryan. Hmm. Oh, the next character I say yes to dies. Oh my gosh, that sounds like fun. There are too many people to execute. I need help from the army. I'm not most interested in killing him. No, he kills people for us. Ooh. There's a crisis in the church. We need to reform the religion. I mean, it's kind of fun to kill religious personnel. But do we want to reform the religion? Because it seems to be working pretty well for us so far. Yes, especially if there's a crisis. We could create some sort of yeah. rest for a television show. Yeah, we have to keep the crisis going, I think. Okay. Oh, this, this, well, I want, yeah, no, I want my people to go fight. Well, I'm not, I'm not killing our witch. I'm not killing the witch who's helped us. No, that doesn't make sense. We discovered the entrance to a crypt under the castle. Yeah, I'll definitely go in. He will die, but it's worth it, I think. Oh my gosh. This will have an effect every second. So, yeah, being here, I think I lose uh, something every second. We're in a pungent. Oh, my, my kingdom fell into anarchy. Awesome. Air door, arsenic, arsenic. Arsenic. Oh, I'll fight this skeleton. Uh, I am alive, so I will be careful. Hmm. Aw, poor scowl. Oh. Well, there goes Robert the Creepy. Oh, poor Robert the Creepy. I felt a special bond to Robert the Creepy, I have to admit. Yes, and I think that uh, the only real thing to be learned here is that sometimes the world and the timeline fuck up and they get weird. And you don't necessarily know uh, what's going to happen. And uh, you can't always account for the skeleton that attacks you in the middle of a dungeon. Uh, and that's why it's important to do timeline checks. I always have my students do a five-year project where they say, this is where I know that I'm going to be in five years. And here's every single little thing that might have occurred within those five years that might change it from that desired outcome. And I if agree. If they live through those five years, reach the outcome, then they get an A, and if not, they fail the class and they have to redo the semester. I couldn't have said it better myself, and I'm glad that we, I'm glad we were able to leave these third dimensional beings with such an important, important lesson as we bring this show to a close. Thank you so much, Dr. Professor Emma Fay, PhD. Uh, it's been a pleasure indeed. Thank you so much for having me. As always, it is wonderful to see you. And as always, third dimensional beings, all hail Grand Emperor Aquion, the endless fish tank, the source from which we were all decanted. <laughs>